गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल हाउ आर यू आई होप ऑल आर फाइन फर्स्ट हाउ यू कंप्लीटेड योर होम वर्स या गुड ओके रिमेम्बर वॉट वी लर्न इन द लास्ट क्लास वेरी गुड इक्वल एंड फ्रैक्शन एंड मिसिंग fraction we find the missing correct so we find the missing numbers in the given fraction right sometime numerator or sometime denominator so in this class we will learn whether the given fractions are equivalent or not we will check and find out whether the given two fractions are equal in fractions or not you know any mother to check okay it doesn't matter i will teach you see first on the example is 12 from page number 78 <clears throat> check whether the following fractions or equivalent or not first fraction is uh, 32 by 12 and the second one is 56 by 21 so can you find whether uh, this is these two are equivalent or not by looking that something difficult right so suppose if i write another one can you find 1 by 2 and 2 uh, by 4 are they equivalent Yeah, very good. Equal and right. See so if we multiply by two, you'll get two. Same numerator by two, four. So they are equal and right. I'll write another one more fraction. Twenty by thirty and two by three. Equal and or not? Very good. Equal and right. If you divide by ten, equal and. So is this twenty divided by ten is two, thirty divided by ten is three, right? Equivalent fractions. They are equivalent fractions. Now we are going to check these two fractions, thirty-two by twelve and fifty-six by twenty-one, are equivalent or not? Thirty-two by twelve and fifty-six by twenty-one. See how I will do. Write first thirty-two by twelve. And fifty-six by twenty-one. Right. First, write the two fractions, two given fractions as it is. Now we'll multiply these two. This thirty-two into twenty-one. This numerator and denominator. Okay. Thirty-two into twenty-one. What is thirty-two into twenty-one? Just write and multiply. Okay. Write and multiply. Thirty-two. Twenty-one. One two is two. One three is three. Okay. And two two is four. Two three is six. Now where two three plus four. What is three plus four? Very good. Seven and six. Six seventy-two. Six seventy-two. Okay. Six seventy-two and. So then I multiply twelve and fifty-six. This denominator and numerator. Twelve and fifty-six. What is twelve into fifty-six? Twelve into fifty-six. Multiply. Just multiply. I write fifty-six first. Okay. Twelve. Two six are twelve. Right. On balance. What is five two are ten? Ten plus one, eleven. Right here. One into six, six. Right. One into five, five. Two. One plus six, seven. Five one plus five, six. Six seventy two. Six seventy two. Now we can identify. 
Correct. How will you write answer? How will you write answer? You tell me. Very good. Okay. 672 we got in the first line. And now we got again 672. Correct. So you can guess how to write the answer. See, I write the answer. 32 into 21 and 12 into 56. The cross product, we, we say these are cross product or equal. They are equal. Therefore, the fractions are equivalent. Therefore, the fractions 32 by 12 and 56 by 21 are equivalent fractions. Okay. Once again, I'll explain. You just multiply. You take the cross product. 32 and 21. Then 32 and 21 is 672. 32 into 21. 672. Then you multiply 12 and 56. Okay. Cross product. The next cross product of the first numerator, denominator and numerator. 12 into 56 simply. 12 into 56 is 672 we got. 12 into 56, 672. So 672. Both are same. Equal. 672, 672. Therefore, the given fractions 32 by 12 question. Uh, 56 and 21. 56 and 21 are equivalent fractions. Right? That much only. Let's run some more questions. Uh, question is taken from exercise 5a, page number 80. Exercise 5a, page number 80. See, the first question, a part, 18 by 45 and 28 by 70. Okay, check whether the following fractions are equivalent or not. 18 by 45 and 28 by 70. Um, as the previous, we write the first fraction as it is and the second fraction as it is. Then we uh, take cross product of the numerator of the first fraction and the denominator of the second fraction. Okay, simply, I will tell you, multiply 18 and 70. 18 into 70 is equal to 18 into 70. So, I multiply 18 and 70. All right. So, 0 you write first. 7, 8s are 56, isn't it? 6 and 5 balance. 1, 7 is 7. 7 plus 5 is 12. 1, 2, 6, 0. 1, 2, 6, 0 we got. This first answer. Then you take the cross product of 45 and 28. Just multiply 45 and 28. 45 into 28 is equal to what? So, 45, 28. See, 8 fives are, 8 fives are, what is 8 fives are? 40, right? 40, 0, 4 balance. Then 8 fours are 32, right? Plus 4, 36. Then 2 fives are 10, right? 0 first, then 1 balance. 2 fours are 8, right? 2 fours are 8, plus 1, 9. Add 0, 6, 3 plus 9 is 12, right, 12, 60, 1260 we got, 1260, 1260. So, now what to do, compare these two numbers, are same or not, 1260, 1260, are they same, yeah, very good, it's, they are same, therefore, 
the fractions are equivalent fractions answer uh, the given fraction see 18 by 45 and 28 by 70 18 by 45 and 28 by 70 are or equivalent fractions right <laughs> check whether the following fractions are equivalent or not see first uh, you take the cross product of the numerator of the first number and the denominator of the second number 18 into 70 is equal to 1260 then again you take the cross product of the denominator of the first number and the numerator of the second number so 45 into 28 is equal to 1260 1260 so compare these two numbers we have the same 1260 and 1260 right Therefore, these two fractions are equivalent fractions. Next question. Uh, from the same page number 80. Same page 80. B part. 10 by 13 and 60 by 65. Okay. So 10 by 13, 60 by 65. Can you say what is the first step? Take the cross product, right? Take the cross product of the numerator of the first number, first fraction, and the denominator of the second fraction. That is 10 into 65. 10 into 65 is equal to we know 10 into 65 650 so multiply by 10 so write 65 write this 10 one zero, okay 10 one zero. 650 if you don't know you multiply okay 65 10 right 65 you write as it is to so give 10 zero. because here it has 10 zero. so 10 zero, 650 now the second step take the cross product of the denominator of the first number and the numerator of the second number right 13 into 13 into 60 correct 13 into 60 multiply 0 6 3s are 18 right one balance 166 6 plus 1 is 7 right so 7 80 c 6 0 6 3 are 18 uh, right 8 then one balance 166 plus 1 7 80 right see the first one so compare the first one and the second one are they same very good not same so then are the equivalent fractions the given fractions are no very good that 10 by 13 and and 60 by 65 are not equivalent fractions not good they are not equivalent fractions because the cross products are not same. Let me teach one more. Let me teach one more. See, 16 by 14. 14 and 32 by 28. And 32 by 20, 28. 16 by 14 and 32 by 28. 
write the fractions as it is 16 by 14 32 by 28 first take cross product of these two okay 16 into 28 what is 16 into 28 28 so 8 6 or 48 right 8 6 or 48 and what is the balance good 4 then 1 8 is 8 8 plus 4 is 12 right 12 then you multiply by 2 this 2 2 6 are very good 12 what is the balance this 1 2 1 is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 3 okay now add 8 2 plus 2 is 4 3 plus 1 is 4 right 6 8 are 48 or 8 6 are 48 4 balance 1 8 is 8 8 plus 4 is 12 right 2 6 are 12 balance 1 1 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3 now add 8 2 plus 2 is 4 1 plus 3 is 4 okay 448 is the first answer 48 okay <laughs> Now you take the cross product of these two. 14 and 32. 14 and 32. I find here. 14 and 32. See 2, 4 or 8. Right. 2, 1, 2. And 3, 4 or 12. 1 balance. What is 1, 3 and 1? 3. Right. Plus 1, 4. Okay. Add 8. 2 plus 2 is 4, 4. 448. 4, 4, 8. 448. We have the same number, right? Same number. See, 16, the cross product of 16 and 28. Uh, the numerator of the first fraction and the denominator of the second fraction is 448 and, and the cross product of the denominator of the first fraction and the numerator of the second fraction 14 into 32 is also 448 correct simply 16 into 28 448. Am I right? Then 14 into 32. 14 into 32 is 448. Just cross multiply. Okay. We got the same answer. Therefore, the fractions, given fractions are equivalent or not? <coughs> Very good. They are equivalent. Now, I write the answer. Therefore, 16 by 14 and and 32 by 4, 28, 32 by 28 or equivalent fractions. That's all. I think it's enough today. Um, I want to give homework. It's very important to do the homework. So, please complete the given homework, okay, in your notebook. See, in the same page number 80. Page number 80. Exercise 5A. Eh? Question number 9. Question number 9. 80, 5A, eh? question number 9. Till we, we have completed C, right? You complete E part, D and E part. Only E part you complete, okay? Question number 9, E part. Correct. Then, try this. Page number 78. Page number 
78 try this try this too page number 78 try this too you complete two questions a and c a and c okay i repeat again first first question is page number 80 exercise 5a exercise 5a question number 9 e part e part and this next one is page number 78 see in the book page number 78 try this too a and c part thank you all